What's up, everybody? It's your boy B. Scott with the Philadelphia Eagles. I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the show and leave a five-star rating. Fly, Eagles, fly. This is a Brawl Network production. We're talking about practice, man. You're listening to Philly Sports with Giovanni. It felt really good to prove to everybody, but not only that, prove to ourselves that we we had great potential. And through the year, we just kept passing tests and passing tests. And eventually, we were the team to beat. Here's the man, the myth, the legend, Giovanni Hamilton. Welcome to Philly Sports with Giovanni. I'm your host, Giovanni, and today we have Tori Smith. What's what's going on? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Nice seeing you. I'm I'm doing pretty good. How how about you? Doing good, man. Can't complain. Can't complain. Mm. Uh all right, so let's get into this game. Uh man, that that game, it was scary. But then towards the end, you know, it it got it got better. Our guys seemed to get into a rhythm. Um, it they started playing good when Carson broke out and got that forty yard run. Uh, what do you think pushed the players to uh, start playing harder at the end? I think just it's a, a competitive team. You know, no one wants to lose. Um, they're they're playing extremely hard and they want to win, you know. So you're able to see that Philly fight. Guys aren't going to just give up, you know. They're going to continue to work. They're going to continue to push, and you were able to see that. And it's tough right now. Um, a lot of injuries. Uh, you know, some of his best players aren't even playing. There's only one starting offensive lineman uh, from the preseason. So it's Carson's doing with a lot as a quarterback, but the team as a whole, and they're continuing to fight. Obviously, you don't want to lose the game, but you love what you see and and showing that Philly fight. Yeah, uh, as you were saying, there's only one offensive line starter. There's actually only two starters on the offense right now who are on the field, which is crazy. Crazy. Zach Hurts got hurt, and Miles Sanders got hurt. Uh, I hope you guys feel better, but it's, it's crazy to you know, we, we're used to injuries in Philly, but oh, oh, Wentz gets a lot of blame for stuff that he can't control. He gets blame uh, for everything, it seems like. And, everything. you know, it, it seems like people think he can block, he can throw, he can run, and he can play defense. And... I don't get all this blame that he gets, and most of it's not his fault. It's, it's This is a team game, and you can't just put all the blame on one player. What do you think? I think we need to give you the microphone and tell everyone because, <laughs> you know, you can't control. It's the ultimate team sport. You know, a quarterback is going to be as good as the, the people that are around him, and I think sometimes, you know, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Obviously, you get a lot of credit when things are going good, but with things are going bad, you know, it's a little bit tough and you have to take the heat as well. But I think Carson's done a great job leading this team, uh, continuing to fight, and you know, he's going to continue to do that because that's the, way, that's the way he works and he has all the talent in the world. Um, when his guys come back and they're healthy, and even if they don't come back in time, the younger guys are going to continue to get better, but they're going to continue to fight. And the division is still wide open, so it sucks to lose. But the reality of it is, Everything is still in front of you. Yeah. Um, yeah, our team, they fought. They only had two offensive starters. And towards the end, they were still doing super good. Uh, I don't even know how they put that many points on the board for all the injuries that we have. Yeah. And, yeah, people think I use that as an excuse and – us Philly fans use that as an excuse, but it's just our luck, man. These these Eagles play. They, yeah, it's, they, tough. it's tough. You know, you can't control injuries, right? No one wants to get hurt. You know, yeah. no, no one wants to get hurt. 
But the reality of it is it happens, and obviously it's the next man up in the NFL. That's what you always say. But let's be honest. You would love to have all of your starters and all pros and guys playing, right? I mean, it is what it is. You're going to be a different team. So, yes, and not having your best players does impact your team. Is it the end-all, be-all? No, but it carries a lot of weight when things are going bad. Perfect example, when we won the Super Bowl, we lost a few of our starters that year, right? We could have very easily have been like, oh, you know, at the end of the year, we lost our starters. That's the season. I think it's one of those things you talk about when it's over. The season isn't over yet. You don't know how younger guys are going to grow. You don't know how the health the guys are going to get healthy and come back. You just don't know. So it's too early to talk about it. But obviously, the struggles right now point directly to the injuries. Yeah. Um, we had, as our our team, they just they always get hurt, and it is it is hard because. You know, it's it's a rough game, and a lot of people are going to get hurt, and chances are you're not going to end the season with all your starters uh, on offense and defense. But, you know, um, our young guys are doing pretty good. Travis Fulgham, he's a guy who I love watching. He's been making some great plays. Uh, I want to ask, what do you think of Travis Fulgham? I love him. I think – you know, he's doing very well. I love the fact that he's a Virginia guy. You know, I'm a Virginia boy as well. Man, just watching the way he's continued to fight through his career. And he had his opportunity, and he's he's let, he's shining right now. You know, I love to see it. And his confidence is only going to continue to grow. Um, I think that Carson's confidence in him is only going to continue to grow. He's, he's going to be a great young player. And Philadelphia should be very lucky to have him right now. Um, you know, obviously he got a shot because of injuries. But that's what you do. You know, that's the positive side of when someone goes down, the next man up. You get to see a guy like Travis Fogum come up and play well. So I'm extremely excited for him um, and his talent, and I love him as a player. Yeah, he's a fun player to watch. Uh, let's move on from the game. Uh, I want to know, did you always want to be a football player? You know what? Um, I was the guy when it came to sports, really, when I was little. If I say elementary, middle school, I wanted to be a veterinarian. <laughs> you know, I never really talked about being going pro or anything, you know. And if I did, if it was baseball season, I wanted to be a baseball player. If it was football season, I wanted to be a football player. If it was basketball season, I wanted to be a basketball player. So for me, I kind of just played everything. But I never – I knew how hard it was to make it to the, the pro league. So it wasn't that I was afraid of it, but I knew that that was going to have an end date and I needed to have something else that I was focusing on. So – it really wasn't until I got to University of Maryland where I was like, man, I can do this. You know, I can go there and I can still get my degree. So everything worked out for me. Yeah, uh, I, I love that because, you know, I I actually, I want to, when I grow up, I want to be a uh, coach for the Eagles. And I wanted to know if you had any pointers for me and uh, or what I what I have to start doing now at 13 uh, uh be able to achieve that dream. You got to just study, man. Uh, you seem like you know the team better than Coach Peterson right now. So <laughs> you, know, you have to keep studying, um, understand what you're looking at as you get older, you know, understand the defenses, the schemes, what's going on on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, it's, it's no different than really schoolwork in that sense, you know, understanding that language. And when you get that down and you're able to watch them and understand what you're seeing and diagnose things, That'll help you as a coach to be able to talk about techniques and know exactly what you're looking for. That, thank you. I I um I appreciate that advice because uh, I watch a lot of film and uh, I I put in the effort and you know I think I will be able to achieve my dream one day and be that head coach. Um, if you had not made it. In the NFL, what what would you have done? Um, I actually had a job lined up uh, with the Secret Service if uh, football didn't work. So I would have done that for a little while. Um, I would have never been uh, – I wouldn't have wanted to work at the White House or anything. Like, the president stuff is a little bit too much. Um, but I would. I had a job, a government job um, lined up, at least that opportunity. Uh, I wanted to go and be a lawyer. I graduated with a degree in criminal justice. So after I graduated um, – you know, I wanted to go to law school to be able to be a lawyer and fight for, you know, people who 
uh, the voices, you know, so it's no surprise that I'm very active um, when it comes to social issues, um, you know, literally from being a youngster, uh, witnessing things and then understanding how the system worked at the University of Maryland. It really helped me and motivated me to want to do more. Yeah, uh, that's that's awesome. Um, yeah, I uh, I I really want to be a coach one day, and I I don't really have a second plan. I guess this is my second plan, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to achieve that coach job for sure. Man, but you, you can never put all your eggs in one basket. You know? Yeah, that's the way I always felt. You know, you you go. And you work extremely hard at something. You know, you think about it for football. Uh, only 1% of the athletes from college go to the NFL. Really less than 1%. So it's like you have to go and work extremely hard. But if it doesn't work, and I understood early on that football is not a matter of if, but when is it going to end, you have a whole other life to live. So you have to work at other things. And so I always was trying to figure different things out, even while I was playing. You know, I interned with the congressman. Uh, I, I studied business. I, I was in college. I interned with the financial advisor to try to understand money a little better. So um, you go and you have to try to explore different things to figure out what you like because sometimes, and it's, it's not fair, but sometimes what you really want doesn't happen. And so you have to be able to adjust and go with the fly. Just like in football, I tell, when I talk to my son when things don't go his way, or even my brothers and sisters, I'm just like, it's like a turnover. You know, you didn't plan for it to happen, but now what are you going to do? So I always go 100% of everything I'm going to do to chase my number one goal. But I also know that, hey, I have, I'm have i not tied to one thing. You know, I'm capable of doing great things all around. Yeah, I, I love that. That's 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 an awesome way to live life. Um, what, what sort of stuff did you have to give up uh, to achieve your, your goals? Um, I always tell people, you just had, for me, I had to just sacrifice fun. You know, uh, you want to be, go to college, you want to be a, a good student athlete. Well, student comes before athlete. So I had to put my PlayStation down, you know, focus on my grades, you know, uh, miss out on fun, miss out on parties, miss out on social life, miss out on hanging with my friends at times to do my work, to study, um, and to make sure that I was fine because I knew my ultimate goal that I wanted. You know, I can't have that and not take care of the present because too often people worry about the end goal and they forget all of the little things that they need to do right now to be successful. So I always tried to do that because I understood that what I do now is going to impact me down the line. And I don't know when, but I know it's going to pay off somehow, some way. So I just worked extremely hard and I also knew what failure looked like. I know what's going to happen if I don't study, if I don't work hard, if I don't do the extra things to take care of my body. Right. I, I I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to, I'm going to stink. I'm not going to, I'm going to fail. I'm not going to have the opportunities that I want. But on the other side, I don't know what's going to happen if I work hard. I don't know how far to take me. You know, if I study extremely hard, I don't know how far that'll take me, what type of peace that'll bring. You know, so I was like, man, I was chasing the unknown. I wasn't afraid of the unknown. I was willing to take care of business now for a better tomorrow. That's, I, that's really cool. Uh, you know, being a student does come first. If you if you ever want to achieve your your dreams in life, you gotta have good grades, and you gotta you gotta be able to have a good good grade so you can have a backup plan. And that's that's awesome. Uh, thank you for being on my podcast. So to end the show, I haven't really uh, thought about it. I don't know if you thought about it. But what is your prediction for the game against the Giants? Um, I think the Eagles are going to beat the Giants. You know, I think they've been right there these past couple of games, fighting and clawing at the end. Yep. Just got to make the plays in the beginning of the game to get that momentum going early so that you don't, you're not playing catch up. So I don't have a score prediction because at this point, you don't know if they're going to score 35 points or you don't know if they're going to score seven. So it's like go and push forward and get the win. That's the only thing that matters at the end of the day. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. I think I think if we win this game, it'll kickstart our season, and then we'll we'll just go forward and start winning a lot of games. And yeah, the division's wide open, so we have yep. it right now. Yep, the, those playoffs are waiting for us. Uh, thanks for coming on my pod. Uh, 
Thanks for bringing a championship to Philly. <laughs> um, go birds, man. Go birds. Appreciate you having me, man. No problem.